audition sides for Madoka Magica, they included scripts for all the girls in the series as well as Kyube. There was also a picture of all of the characters next to their names. I really liked all of the Madoka girls outfits, so I recorded auditions for all of them and I didn't audition for Kyube. A couple days later, the casting director called me and she said, you know, your auditions were good, but we really wanted to hear you audition for Kyube. And I was like, all right. A few weeks later, I got a call that I was cast as Kyubei. And I was really excited, but I knew that I had my work cut out for me. Kyubei isn't human, and he's not like anything that I've ever seen in nature. He doesn't really have any human characteristics. I had heard rumors of a Kyubei living somewhere in Japan, but my base is in Los Angeles, and I didn't have time to go to Japan, learn Japanese, explore the countryside and the cities, and hopefully find a Kyubei. We were set to record in about two weeks. I didn't really have much time. So, I took to the internet. I posted this everywhere. And in a couple of days, I got a response. It was from a guy living in Shoreline Point, Connecticut. It's not too far from Los Angeles. I mean, if you compare it to Japan but it certainly was a trek. So I set out on my bike, cross country. Our darkest hour, I left my back to her. A savage song possession. Left the rest to burn Our darkest hour I gathered heavy ground Head below my shoulders Bound to where I'm bound Oh no
there's something in my teeth. Uh, nah, that's not a Cube. This is a Gizbot. Well, this uh, this girl came here from California, and uh, she asked if she could she could follow it around. And I said, "Cheese and rice, do whatever you want. Just don't pet it in the wrong place." This Gizbot is indestructible. There's not much that goes into caring for a Gizbot. You just gotta pet it. You gotta feed it. You gotta love it. But boy, do not piss him off. He will cut you like a longhorn steak. Somebody asked me about how I found this Gizbot, and it kind of, it's not too long of a story, but I guess I'll tell it. I was fishing. I wasn't using normal bait. I was using something. I can't tell you really what it was. I can't tell you how to catch a Gizbot. But this secret bait netted me this guy. Boom. <laughs> Holy, hmm, he's awesome. Very rare. It's like one of them rare Pokemon. Sir, this Gizbot is not for sale. He is a magical creature. Can't keep it too long, but he's getting a little antsy. You know, if you do want to buy him, you know, text me. Okay, text me. This little Gizbot is just left me alone. Hey, are you filming me without my hat on? <laughs> <laughs>